What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to be talking about BioNanogenomics, ticker symbol BNGO, and now they've announced two more events that are separate from their earnings that is going to be happening next week. One of these events is going to be happening over the next couple of days, and if you are a BioNanogenomics investor, these are events that you definitely need to pay attention to, and one of these events has a very interesting aspect to it that we definitely need to cover and go over exactly what is going on. So before we get into all of that information, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you go down and hit that like button and hit the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video so you get to stay up to date on all of your favorite stocks, learn about a couple of new ones and see exactly which options I am trading and which strategies I am using to trade them. Now let's make you guys some free money with Webull. So uh, if you guys want to uh, earn two free stocks with Webull valued up to $1,850, all you have to do is click on the link in my description or in the pinned comment, set up an account, deposit $100, and you will get your two free stocks valued up to $1,850. Webull is a great brokerage. I use it in all um, of my videos that you guys see here. It's where I have my options trading portfolio, and it's kind of the in-between of Robinhood and TD Ameritrade in terms of the technical things that it allows you to do. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you go check that out. Now, taking a look at the chart of BioNanogenomics, we can see that it's had a very substantial bounce off of these lows in the $5 range after the very significant sell-off. And we are seeing today that the stock is trading pretty flat. Now, uh, we do have earnings coming up next week, so I'm expecting to see a pretty significant run-up to over $10 before the earning, uh, earnings numbers are put out. So we are going to cover BioNanogenomics earnings and what exactly I am expecting to happen at the end of this video. But before we get into all of that, we need to look at the brand new catalyst that we have gotten announcements for for BioNanogenomics. So coming over here, we can see that BioNanogenomics to present at several upcoming investor conferences. So BioNanogenomics announced that company management will present virtually at the following investor conferences. We have Oppenheimer's 31st Annual Healthcare Conference. That's going to be March 16th through March 18th, which is going to be tomorrow, starting tomorrow. Um, and company management is scheduled to present on Wednesday, March 17th. Now, we also have Maxim Group's Emerging Growth Conference on March 17th through March 19th, 2021. So, BioNanogenomics is going to be very busy with their presentations this week. And these events could serve as some bullish catalyst to send BioNanogenomics stock price going higher into their earnings announcement. So let's take a look um, at the first event. So this is going to be Oppenheimer. So this conference will provide investors a broad spectrum of public and private healthcare companies spanning all major sectors of the healthcare uh, industry, bio and specialty pharmaceuticals, biotechnology, medical devices, life science tools and diagnostics, healthcare information technology and distribution, and healthcare providers and uh, servicers. So this is going to be a very important event, but the more important event, in my opinion, is going to be this Maxim event. Now, in my opinion, uh, this is, is a lot more important because of a couple of reasons. Now, the first reason is that Maxim has one of the most bullish price targets for BioNanogenomics at the current time. We saw back, and I think it was January, that uh, Maxim raised their price target on BioNanogenomics from $2 to $14. Now, this was when the stock had already rallied 1,300% in a month and and make sure uh, you guys take a look at who exactly raised the price target, Jason McCarthy. So now if we come over here, we can see that if we find BioNanogenomics, let's see if we can find them on here. I just had them pulled up. So right here, we have BioNanogenomics presenting on March 19th. So this is going to be on, I think it is Thursday. So we are going to see BioNanogenomics CEO present on Thursday, and we are going to have a fireside chat moderated by Jason McCarthy, the analyst that raised BioNanogenomics price target from $2 all the way up to $14. Now, this is going to be a very interesting conversation that these two are going to have since Jason McCarthy is very bullish on BioNanogenomics, and he is going to ask some very important questions, and it's going to be very interesting to see how the CEO responds. 
Now, typically, when we have bionanogenomics present at any of these conferences, we always see a new study about the sapphire come out. And the place to find exactly what these studies are and how beneficial they're going to be is going to be bionanogenomics Twitter page. So if you guys are bionanogenomics shareholders and you don't already follow bionanogenomics on Twitter, make sure you go and follow their Twitter page because that is most likely where all of this information is going to be coming out in near real time. So let's take a look at an example of this. Coming over to the Twitter page, we can see that all of these tweets came out in uh, the beginning of March, and these had to do with the AGP, the AGBT event that BioNanogenomics was participating in. Now, this tweet right here I found very interesting. In another patient, the Sapphire identified this balanced translocation. She pointed out that her own PhD project consisted of the fine mapping of a balanced translocation, such as this one, which took her three years to complete. The Sapphire could have performed her entire PhD research in in just a few days. This is really amazing and it shows just how powerful the sapphire is. We also see that in a teenager with early onset psychosis, chromosomal microarray detected a small deletion with only three candidate genes, none of which could explain this disease. When analyzed with sapphire, a much larger deletion was found that contained 10 candidate genes. Now coming down, this deletion was missed because this part of the CHR10 has many large repeats, which makes analysis with array or sequencing impossible. So I'm expecting to see a lot of tweets come out like this over this week that could pot uh, potentially send the share price of bionanogenomics going higher because it's just showing time and time again how great Sapphire is and how there's nothing else on the market like it today. Now, uh, over the next couple of weeks, we are going to see bionanogenomics earnings report. So this is going to be happening on March 23rd, 2021. Now, we need to talk about bionanogenomics earnings. So uh, in quarter four, they are projecting their revenue, if you guys see down here, to be about 3.8 or 3.6, I think it is. It's hard to see on this picture to $4.2 million. Now we see the revenue in quarter three was $2.2 million. So this is almost a double in revenue when you compare quarter three to quarter four. And this is very big news. We saw that in quarter four, BioNanogenomics was risking, uh, they were at the risk of getting delisted off of uh, the exchanges. And then they came out with their study on autism and they massively ran up in share price. So BioNanogenomics is at a completely different point, in my opinion, now than they were back in quarter four as a company. So uh, a lot of investors, I think, are going to be getting their hopes up for their earnings. And the EPS numbers and revenue numbers are going to be important. And the stock is going to react uh, initially off of those numbers. But the most important thing that we need to keep a lookout for is the CEO's comments during the conference call, any revenue guidance that he can give, and especially the answers to all of the questions on the conference call. We saw this happen with with nano dimension last week the earnings uh numbers the eps and revenue numbers weren't that strong but when the ceo came out and started speaking about all of the acquisitions and where they think they are going as a company in the future uh the stock price massively rallied on that day i think nano dimension went up about 16 percent and we could see something very similar to that happen with bio nano genomics but their eps and revenue numbers still need to come in pretty strong and then we need to focus on the actual comments from management. If the numbers come in extremely weak, there's not really gonna be anything that management can say that can push the stock going much higher. So coming back over to the chart of bionanogenomics, this is going to be an interesting spot. We are seeing a consolidation around this $9 to $9.30, $9.40 mark. Currently, bionanogenomics is trading at $9.52 at the current time that I am recording this video. Now, nothing I say in my videos is financial advice. These are for educational and entertainment purposes only. But if you have not already initiated a position in bionanogenomics or you have some cash laying around in your account, after buying all of these dips that we have already talked about, this is still a very attractive price point for bionanogenomics in my opinion. I think if you can get into this stock under $10, you will be very happy with your decision 
in the long term. I see BioNanoGenomics going up to the $30 price point within the next two years if they can continue on the current track that they are going on. Once they get Sapphire into as many researchers and clinicians offices as possible and they tweak the technology and make it even better than it already is now and widen the gap between any other possible competitor that could come into the market, BioNanoGenomics is going to be a very key player in the genomics market. So that is going to be it for this update on bio nano genomics if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you go down and hit that like button and hit the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time i post a new video so you get to stay up to date on all of your favorite stocks learn about a couple of new ones and see exactly which options i am trading and which strategies i am using to trade them and if you guys would like two free stocks with weeble make sure you check out that link in my description or in the pinned comment all you have to do is set up an account deposit a hundred dollars and you have the possibility to earn two free stocks valued up to one thousand eight hundred fifty dollars that sounds like a great deal to me and if you guys are interested in setting up a new account you guys should definitely check that out so that is going to be it for this video i hope you guys are having a really profitable day and i'll see you guys in the next video